Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildlife Camp. And I am currently under the curse of the silly hat and I cannot get this thing off my head. I cannot wait to figure out how to remove it, but we are wearing the sombrero today that we actually just got from the village shaman when we took the giraffe out to the savannah and released it out into the wild safari. It was really, really quite amazing actually. I had a great time with that baby giraffe and we managed to gather up quite a few medical items. So we got a whole bunch of medicines that you can actually discuss out in the wild and we might go collect some more of those medicines today but right now we have the task of coming by and getting Zimba our little lion cub a bit of food to eat so we actually need to come over to this fine gentleman here and we need to give a little chit chat to him let's see there we go. Nice to see you again. Do you perhaps need any new equipment for your food or animals? Let's look at what I've got. What? And he has a watering can? You can do gardening? I want to buy that so bad. The machete allows you to free animals in thorn bushes. What? They can get stuck in thorn bushes? And you can get cameras for when you need to take pictures of animals. You can get some rope to get animals out of from being stuck in the swamp. What? This is amazing. Okay, we need to get some fresh meat though. So I'm going to go ahead and get like five things of fresh meat. So we'll buy those. And then I really want to get this watering can, actually. So I'm hoping I can take a risk and buy the watering can, if it'll let me. Um, will it let me? Oh, I don't know if it will. Hey, hey, watering can. Hey, I want to get you. All right, come on. All right, very good. Now go back. Okay. Oh, no, it's not going to let me. Okay, so we were just supposed to buy the food. So now we need to go back and talk to Alex, now that we have more food for our lion cub. Also, you guys, is this not just like amazingly beautiful it's a lot more in-depth and a lot more immersive and just a lot more to look at and be relaxed by you feel like you could almost feel the hot sun maybe there's a reason i should keep the hat on here at camp oh this is so cool all right and let's go up and see the little zimba and maybe alex will have some more advice for us do 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 do, do. alex how are you doing sir all right and then very good. Now go and make Zimba happy by feeding him that. All right. So Zimba, hi, Bubby. You ready for some more food? All right. We've got to bond with him for a second. There we go. Though you would never do this with a real wild animal, even if you were treating them, by the way. And then we want to give him some fresh meat. Are you hungry? I don't think he's hungry. Is he? There he goes. Yeah, so he was a little hungry. Wonderful. He enjoyed his meal a lot. Alex is waiting for us again. Good. I think Zimba is now ready for some more training on how to survive in the wild. Oh, fascinating. So the training will give him is actually a wild, like, wilder, wild cat training, wild lion training. I want to show you a few more things you haven't yet learned yet. Please follow me. All right, so we'll work on that. Okay, I probably need to get this meat out of my hand somehow. Um, is there, like, some sort of way... I can remove it from my hands. Maybe not. All right. You need to stay here, my little friend. All right. And I wish I could get that out of my... No, don't feed it to him. No, 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 no. I know I have, I know I have raw meat in my hand, but that's not the point. All right. Come on, Alex. You will find areas to train animals here. Oh, wait. I need... Zimba. Zimba. No, baby. Get down from there. Zimba. Hey, Zimba. Hey. Hey, sweetie. I need you to get down from there. All right, and he can actually... What? Oh, so these are like maybe all the different things you can train him with. Zimba! Will you come on down, little one? There we go. So he'll, I chased him down from it. All right, I need to convince him to follow me. And then I wish I could get the food out of my hand somehow. Okay, so now I've got him to following me. And now I don't have any food in my hands, which is a good thing. And we're going to run this way with a little Zimba. He's like, wait, wait a second. Wait for me. All right. Now we need to find Alex. Where the heck did he go? Alex? Alex? Uh-oh. Alex! Oh, there you are. Jeez, Alex. All right. So come on, Zimba. Come on. You don't exactly want to let a wild lion cub on the loose. All right. Let's come over here towards the training area. So in here... We've developed several training programs for wild animals. This allows them to practice important basic abilities such as running fast, stalking, climbing, and fighting. Try practicing these four movements. All right, so running. Train the animal to be able to run fast. So this increases the animal's fitness levels and it will be better prepared to return to the wild. Okay. So how do I do that? Okay, you just kind of make him chase the thing. Okay. So you just... I'm going to get dizzy. I'm going to get dizzy. Come on. Chase the thing. Chase the thing. 
And then if you run them around and around and around, really? Oh, left to right. Oh, you have to do both angles. Hey, come on. Oh my gosh, what? Am I like chasing him? Or are we just like, yeah. Is this to do the way to do it, I guess? Okay. I guess I'm teaching the baby how to how to run. There you go, little guy. And it does build up his endurance. I could see that. We've successfully trained the animal. Okay. And then more training. And so then we would do stalking. This will make the animal better at pr catching prey by itself. This is very important when being returned to the wild. Okay, so... Okay, down you go, little guy. There, come on. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there we go! And then you, like, keep him consistently stalking. And he gains little training points. Okay. This isn't too complicated. I think I got this. No, come on. Stalk. Stalk, Simba. I just said this wasn't too complicated. We gotta keep going. All right, there you go. Yeah. Nope, come here. Come on, come on, focus. Focus. Come on, Zimba, you got this. You got this. Oh, I managed to train him. I wasn't even paying attention. All right. Man, I'm getting dizzy of him going in circles. Climbing. Practice climbing on steep slopes. This is important for preparing animals that will be returned to the wild. Oh, how do I do this? Come on, little guy. Oh my gosh, look at him go. Nope, you need to start climbing. That's right. I have no idea how to make this happen faster. If I wiggle it faster... Actually, it seems to work if you go faster, too. <laughs> kind of not quite as engaging as training in Zoo Tycoon 2, where you do, like, mouse clicks and swirlies and arrows, but at least we're getting the point across. All right, successfully trained him on that. Fighting. Oh, dear. This is why you shouldn't pet him. Okay. Are you going to fight me? Is that what's happening here? Say, up and down. Come on. I don't think we're doing anything. Zimba, am I supposed to make you a little agitated? Oh, I think I'm supposed to kind of go in like a swirly motion. To kind of make him growl and fight. And this is actually very important for a young guy like this. There we go. Zimba, you and I are learning how to fight like a lion. Oh my goodness, I'm glad we're not going in circles anymore. I was getting so dizzy. I was really getting so dizzy. Come on, little guy. There you are. We've got this together. Almost. And done! Alright, hopefully this will help train him up a bit. Zimba seems to be bursting with energy. I heard that from Solak that you already have successfully returned a giraffe back to the savannah. Do you think you are ready to do the same with Zimba? Oh! Am I, Alex? You tell me! By the way, we have built a new room in the hut next to the treatment room. Why don't you go take a look? You will also be able to take off the ridiculous hat if you like. Ha ha. Well, ha ha to you too. I guess we're going to release him to the wild then. I just go over to the savannah and I like release little Zimba. Is that how it works? Are those my tasks? No, I want to look at my tasks. So enter the hut. Okay, so I think we need to enter the hut for now. Zimba, I, I don't know if you should be following me around, but you are. All right. Is it this hut? <gasps> Yay! I can remove the hat! Oh, thank goodness. So we now have like a little clothing hat. Look how happy she is. She's like, oh, thank goodness. I got that off my head. There we go. If you should run out of gold, just take care of your animals or train them and you'll receive further awards. You'll also find a blowpipe in your inventory. This will allow you to capture more animals in the savannah. What? Okay, and there's a gazelle. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we need to check in on our little guy. I think we need to get his training all the way up before we can release him to the wild. So let's go ahead and before he sees that weakened sick gazelle and does what a good lion cub should learn to do. Let's bring him in here. Zimba, I know there's a gazelle. You can't eat it right now, my dear. And we're going to release him here. All right, and then we're also going to check on him. Can I check on like some stats when I click on him? He's healthy, he's been taken care of, and he needs a little bit more training and a few other things. So we'll go ahead and we will take care of that later. For now, we've got a stick gazelle. Quick, yeah, emergency. Zolka, or Solka, excuse, Solk. How, how goes it? All right, oh, that, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Hello, I found this gazelle on one of my trips through the savannah. It looks very ill. Do you think you'll be able to cure it? Well, let me see what I could do for it. Where is the little one? <gasps> gazelle, baby. Gazelle baby, come here little one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. It's so tiny. It's so fuzzy. They made it so extra fuzzy. All right, let's come into the treatment room and see what's up with the gazelle. 
Man, it looks like you can really get a lot of stuff going on once you get this, like, once you really get in the hang of things. Alright. We're gonna go ahead. Okay. Check for heartbeat. Hang in there, little guy. This is a very clean little exam room, by the way. I'm quite impressed. Alright, let's see what's going on with you, my friend. Fracture! Oh, we need a leg splint! So we need to buy medicine in the village to be able to get the leg splint this little one needs. So you go ahead and stay right here, my friend. And let's see if I can look. So he's very hungry, too. The gazelle is quite hungry. Maybe we can do something about the hunger while we're here, at least. So let me see if I can grab some food. So can I get some food for you? Can you at least eat the food for a second? I think it really is kind of something where you just need to have it been paying attention to how things are supposed to work. And even if they don't directly tell you, hey, feed the gazelle, you just are supposed to figure out like, yeah, the gazelle is hungry because you can see on its little stats how it's feeling. And a blow dart to go get more animals some from the savanna? Okay, so it's thirsty. All right, and let's go ahead and stay here. Stay here, little guy. I should probably put you away instead of just let you roam around. Ah, I'm blocked over here again. I should probably put it away, but it's just laying down in the grass trying to pretend not to be a sick baby and get eaten by something. All right, so let's go into the village. And we need to buy some water because it's thirsty and maybe some more fodder. Hello, my friend. How are you doing again? All right, so let's go ahead and grab some fresh water. Oh, wow, you can get a lot of those. Yeah, I'm going to just get a whole bunch of fresh waters because everybody basically needs something to drink. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab some more of the fodder. How much is that? Oh, it's very, 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 very cheap. So I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of it, like 25. Hopefully that's a smart move. And then let's go ahead, run this way. And the medicine, please, sir, for a fracture. Okay, oh, and talk to him. Wow, look at how many things are here now. Bandages, we need a leg splint though. That's the thing we're really looking for this time. We can get worm infestations, uh, cat liver fluke. You can get dental cavities, uh, plaster for small cuts and wounds, tree avian flu, malaria, malnourished animals, feline distemper, bot fly. Oh, I hate bot flies. Uh, let's see, treat monkeys with this one. African horse sickness, eye infections, tweezers to remove small splinters you guys holy days it looks like there's gonna be a lot a lot a lot a lot to do to take care of all the animals does he have any new accessories for us <gasps> look at all of it we can have a cute little hat oh my gosh we can get a little safari hat we can get a whole bunch of different things you can even get like these really cool belts nice nice i think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spend a little bit on a belt and maybe a safari helmet or a felt hat i feel like a safari helmet isn't isn't very like far-fetched and then we can put those items on so that we're ready to go into the safari because apparently we need to have our blow dart to use on animals to bring them back if they've been wounded that's pretty intense taking care of wild animals in africa is proving to be a lot more dangerous than like helping out the the injured bun bun here in north america all right let's go ahead and let's see what we can do with this leg splint and this gazelle so come on little guy Come on, that's right. I know. I shouldn't make you have to have to do so much work when you're hurt like this. All right. Let's go ahead and put this on. Just like that. The gazelle is completely happy again. The National Park Office rewards you with 200 gold coins for this. Yay! All right. He, oh, Solik has just arrived at the treatment room. He has an impressive looking animal with him. Look at the gazelle. Hi, Bubby. It's a little thirsty. It absolutely knows nothing, so I don't know if we should release it yet if it doesn't know anything. He's got a, a zebra with him. I wonder if we can put the zebra and the gazelle together. Okay, stay here, because this little guy is still kind of hurt, so I don't know how long we're supposed to keep him. How'd you- you keep bringing me so many things, sir. A zebra now. Hello there. Nice to see you again. I found this poor zebra in the savannah. I think it needs some medical attention. Oh, boy. All right, come here, zebra. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Fuzzy! fuzzy everywhere it's just so fuzzy oh my goodness gracious it's fuzzy 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 okay and it loves me now so let's go ahead and give it a checkup and we'll find out what's wrong with it and i think we're starting to gain a little bit of reputation for taking good care of the animals and the more reputation we gain the more people will start bringing some of the wild animals to us and because it's important to take care of your environment and take care of all of the complex ecosystems especially on the safari it seems like 
they will pay us for doing this, which is really cool. Oh, not bot flies. You poor thing. I will go and heal you right away. Okay, you stay here. Bot flies are so terrible. I will, I will go grab some treatment for that immediately. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to come in. And we're actually going to put on my belt. So let's put on our little belt and our little hat. Oh my gosh. I feel, I feel official now. And now, next time, we will go and snag the botfly treatment, take care of the zebra, see what kind of training we still need to do for all of our animals before we can release them into Savannah. And we might go and try to snag some more of these special medical items from the village as well. So, wow. Wow. What an amazing place we have. Let's take care of this little guy, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.